Francis had pointed out that I haven't shown yet how to um, include a SCORM activity, just a whole SCORM course um, to upload and launch that. So I'll show you how to do that now. That's my oversight. Let me do this now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to add an activity, and it's a SCORM activity. And I can name it here, and then I will do that. I'm going to call this um, Featured Participants. And it functions um, just like that. Um, it, it's going to function on that activity uh, that I've shown uh, today that I've uploaded about um, featuring the different fe um, participants in our course. So I've got a bit of troth bubble, excuse me. Um, so I can write the same thing here if I want. And I'm lazy, so I'm just going to copy it over. I give a better description for the summary. Um, but right now, um, I'm not going to. I'm going to choose my file. Let me bring that down so you can see it. Okay, and what I've done is, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file to here for this quiz. So I'm going to browse. And I know I've got it saved on my hard drive here. Here's a quiz I created with um, QuizMaker. I'm going to up, open that and upload it. It's quite small, so it shouldn't take more than a moment or two. Just give that a minute. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. So there it is. So you can see it's highlighted already to choose it, and I'm going to choose it. You don't choose any of these other options when you're adding a SCORM activity, just the one that says choose. So I've done that. And now I am going to um, set all of my parameters. So grading method, highest grade. This means if you give them the option of going over and over again. Maximum grade. I don't even remember what this is out of. So let's just say, um, actually, I think I've got it out of five. OK. Uh, number of attempts, unlimited attempts. Attempt grading, the highest grade. That's what I want. OK, the size of my window, I, and um, you can set how you display this. And I'm going to have it in the current window. And I'm not going to have it at 100%. I don't want it all across the screen. Um, let's just say, let's make it 800 pixels by 800 pixels. We'll see how that works out. OK, uh, students allowed to skip the content structure. Uh, this, this is where you, you, um, you see the content structure at the side. And I'm just going to say, always. You can leave it with the defaults and play with those defaults and see which you like best when you're doing this. Disable preview mode. I don't want them to be able to preview. I'm just going to say yes. Course um, structure display. Um, I'm going to make that hidden. Navig hide navigation buttons. I mean, this is all optional items that you can choose. And yeah, I'm going to hide that navigation. I just want them to see the quiz. Auto continue. Um, no, auto frequency. Just I'm just going to leave all those settings. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Let's save and display. Let's see what this looks like. So here we are. Um, that's the name of that, that I've just had, and I'm, I'm going to enter it. See what happens. It takes a moment for the first time for it to load because it's loading quite a bit there. After you've used it a few times, it'll load a little faster. Okay, I see it's starting. I'll bring that up a bit. And there you go. And you could try this. I'll, I'll leave this in the course, and 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 you can try it as well. So I'm just going to exit, uh, exit this activity right here. And there you go. That's how you do it.